Hey, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a swatch party on all of my purple eyeshadows. My throat's a bit sore, don't worry I'm not sick, it's only because I was doing a live stream on Twitch and I was talking for about three hours straight and my throat is really strained from that so don't worry, I'm safe, wash your hands, be safe. So this video I'm going to be a bit more soft-spoken than normal, sorry if that's annoying, but anyways, today's all about the eyeshadows, all of the purples. So this video probably won't be as long as my blue swatch party because I don't have as many purples as I do blues, but we're gonna get this started. I'll only be swatching on this arm because I have a tattoo here and I can't exactly swatch over this because of how dark it is. So we're just going to stick to this arm. So let's start off with the radioactive palette from Melt. I got this palette for Christmas and I'm going to be swatching the shades Hazmat and Uranium. Let's swatch these. I'm going to be honest, I don't really like the purples in this palette that much. I like the rest of the shades, but the purples are not that great. <laughs> As you can see, a little bit patchy and a bit hard to swatch. So you can imagine how these perform with a brush. Not that well. They do have a little bit of a sheen to them, which is quite nice. So next we're gonna swatch the shade Uranium. I think personally, this is the, the worst shade in the palette. I mean, do you even see that? Like, is that even like a thing, like wet? Do you see how much I'm swiping? Pigment? Like, where is she? <laughs> where is she? Aside from the purples, I really do like the radioactive palette. Okay, I just turned on my camera light so you can actually see the swatches a bit better, but I will be showing you guys these swatches under natural light with my phone camera at the end. Next up is the Sugar Pill Fun Size Mini Palette, and I'm gonna be swatching the shade Player One right here. I love this palette so much. Let me know if you want a review of it, but I love it. It's probably one of my favorite palettes right now. I love pastels, you guys know this. Even before it became a trend, like, I love pastels. Look at that. It's more lavender on camera, and it has a bit of a, um, of a pink undertone, but it's very pretty, swatches beautifully, performs beautifully. Next up is Lilac You A Lot from Colourpop. God, these palettes are so hard to open. There we go. So I'm basically going to be swatching almost this, this entire palette. I think the ones that I probably won't swatch are Imagine That and Cloud, because even though this is kind of purple, it has more of a, actually no, it is, it has more of, like, it's more of a mauve than a purple to me, and I'm not counting mauves. So we're gonna swatch all of the other shades in this palette. I love this shade right here called Ghost In. This is like one of my favorite types of shades to wear. It doesn't swatch that great though, this one. It does perform nicely on the eyes though. On camera that looks a lot more pink as well, but it is definitely a lavender. Next I'm gonna swatch the shade Wake Me. This shade is honestly really disappointing in this palette. Like, I love this palette, but this shade doesn't really perform that well. Like, it doesn't swatch that well either. I don't know, it's kind of a dud shade in the palette. Can you see that? Like, barely. I don't know what Colourpop did with this shade. Like, they did this shade dirty. Anyways, that's the best I can build it up. That is the shade Wake Me. Now I'm going in with the shade Fluff. This is probably the best shimmer shade in the palette. It's so soft, so pigmented and beautiful. Okay, that's a really wonky swatch. <laughs> I apologize. But do you see that? Such a beautiful shimmer. So beautiful. Amazing, we love her. Next, I'm gonna swatch the shade Trainwreck, which is big fat mood right now. Again, this one doesn't really show up too well, but on the eyes, this one's actually really pretty. It's kind of more of like a, like an icy purple with a bit of a like cooler undertone. Like it's not a warm lavender. This is definitely a cooler lavender. I'm sorry that this video is all over the place, but I just switched my setup. So it's a lot easier, but now I'm going to swatch the shade, what's this called? Zoned Out. 
Again, this shade doesn't swatch the best. And I'm sorry that the stain underneath might be altering the colour. I really love this Colourpop palette. It's one of my favourites, actually, if not my favourite. I mean, actually, this one's tied with Blue Moon, but they don't swatch that great. This one in particular, even though Colourpop shadows usually swatch beautifully, this one doesn't swatch the best, but it's still a very pretty palette when you put it on the eyes. Now I'm going to swatch the shade Iffy, which I love how they have deeper shades in this palette. I love it. I know there's a bit of the other shade on my finger, but that's not too bad. But look at that. Beautiful. So smooth. So pretty. I love this shade so much. And finally, I'm going to take the shade Filtered. This one could be considered more of a berry, but I still think it would count in the purple family. There's a fine line between, like, pinks and purples, I find. That definitely looks a lot more um, berry on camera, but it is more of a purple. And that's the Colourpop Lilac You A Lot palette. Next is the Nabla Soul Blooming palette. Now, in here, I was considering maybe these two could be considered blues. However, this one does have more of a purple undertone. It's kind of like... It's like a periwinkle mixed with a lavender. Like, it's really difficult to place it in a category, but... I don't know, I figured it belonged in purples, even though it is definitely... It could be considered a blue or a purple, essentially. I love this shade, it's called Flowery. And one of the most beautiful shades in the palette, this is Garden Gate. My god, I love this duochrome. My finger's a bit stained, <laughs> don't mind that. It's a beautiful duochrome. I remember this is probably... I think this was the like, first duochrome shade I ever owned, and I immediately fell in love. Like, I mean, look at that. So pretty. And those are the purple shades from the Soul Blooming palette. So before I wipe off these swatches, I'm going to show you a video right here of them in natural light with my phone camera, because I feel like when they're under studio lights, you can't really see the true, true, true beauty. Okay, so I've cleaned off my arm. It's still a little bit stained, but that's okay, because purples tend to stain. The last palette that I'm going to show you is the Blush Tribe Hasina 2 palette, and the other ones I will show you are my single shadows. But here's the Hasina 2 palette, so beautiful, so pretty. I'm going to be swatching this little section right here with the purple shades. So let's start off with the shimmers. Let's start off with Monique. Very beautiful. I don't use this palette too often, but I really need to reach into it because, I mean, look at that. Blush Tribe shimmers are so pretty. Like, are you joking? Are you joking? Damn, I need to reach into this palette. <laughs> Next, I'm going to swatch the shade Destiny. This is more of a warmer, more pink undertoned purple. Does that make any sense? I don't know. You can see it in contrast with Monique. Monique's more of a, like, blue-toned purple. This one's more of a pink-toned purple. I love, I love these shimmers. Oh my god. I need to reach into this palette for my next look, I swear. Next up, this shade is called Grain. Grain, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But this one's like a deeper purple. Ooh, look at that. That's so pretty. These remind me a lot of the uh, Juvia's Place shimmers, now that I'm swatching them. So pretty. Look at that. I wish the metallics from the Colourpop Lilac You A Lot palette were like these. If they were like these, that palette would be perfect. Next, I'm going to swatch the shade Iris. You can see there's quite a big dip in it because I love... I love these pastel lilac shades. You know how I feel about these. It's not swatching that great, as expected. These usually don't swatch the best, these pastel-y shades. Especially purples, since they are the hardest to formulate out of all the colours. Can you even see that on my skin tone? I think so. And finally, I'm going to swatch the shade Mohan. This one is such a beautiful, classic, royal purple. But, unfortunately, this doesn't perform that nicely on the eyes. You can kind of see in the swatch that it is pretty patchy. You have to be very careful when working with this on your eyes. 
I just tend to avoid this shade because anytime I try and work with it, it just looks patchy on me. But it is a pretty shade to look at though. It does complete the palette in a way. And these are the shades from the Blush Tribe palette. I'll go through their names once more. This one's Monique. This one is Destiny. This one is Grain. This one is Iris. And this one is Mohan. Now we're gonna move on into my single shadows. So first off, we're gonna go with Lethal. My previous video was my Lethal Cosmetics um, eyeshadow review. I'll link it in the description below if you wanna watch it. So I'm gonna be swatching the shades Crossroads and I believe this is called Release, I think. I'll write the name on the screen if I'm wrong. But first off, we're gonna go with Crossroads. Again, this could be considered a pink, but I'm putting it here. It's one of my favourite. I think this is... Oh, it's hard to say. I think this is... This one tied with the next uh, brand I'm going to show you are tied for my favourite um, lilac. I feel like that sentence didn't make sense. That's because it didn't. Basically, this is one of my favourite pastel lilac shades. Like, lavender shades. Because, look, it's so pigmented and beautiful and easy to work with. I love it. And next, I'm going in with Release. These shadows are so soft. It's unbelievable. Such a unique, like, grey-toned purple. Again, the camera is washing it out quite a lot, but again, I'll show you natural light swatches later. And those are my Lethal Cosmetics shadows. And finally, I'm going to show you guys my Nabla singles. These three right here. Th this six right here are Nabla. And the rest of them are Colourpop, like the smaller pans are Colourpop, but I'm just going to show you guys these three. This one is the shade Lotus, and this one is tied with Lethal for my favourite lavender shade in the entire world. Like, the most creamy, buttery, soft matte you'll ever find. Like, that covers up my beauty mark quite well. Like, damn. It's so pretty. It is slightly different to Crossroads in that this one is less pink, but it's oh so beautiful. Nabla shadows are really underrated. Like, they're severely underrated. Now I'm going in with the shade Poetry. This one is a beautiful grey-toned purple. Actually, these two shades are basically the same as the two lethal shades. Yes, you can tell I have a type. Oh, but this one's a lot darker. A lot darker and a bit more grey. You can't beat Nabla's mattes, man. And finally, I'm going in with the shade Eregia. I pronounce this shade differently every time I use it, but we're gonna roll with it. Such a beautiful, deep, deep, deep greyish purple. Like, it doesn't pull warm, it definitely pulls cool. Look at that. I mean, on camera it's pulling warm, but <laughs> you get the point. So that is Lotus, Poetry, and Aresia from Nabla. And I forgot to mention that this is Crossroads and Release from Lethal. And those are all of my purple eyeshadows. I will put a little video right now showing you guys these shadows in natural light. I love them so much, especially those Blush Tribe Metallics. Hell yeah. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my god, look at that stained finger. Jesus Christ. Let me know what other colours you want me to swatch in my collection for the next Swatch Party episode. I do know that I will be doing a Swatch Party on the Divina Sugar Drops collection. I think you guys would really enjoy that. You can follow me on my social medias. I have two Instagram accounts. I live stream on Twitch three times a week and my Spotify are all linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here, especially since I haven't been super active on YouTube. I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of things, I promise. I promise. I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay safe, wash your hands with this whole COVID-19 pandemic going on. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to wash your hands. Bye.